Kuja is hard. Really hard. Ah. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and with the addition of the tier 5 Kuja, it has not been made any easier. So what do you just need? Actually, well, actually, we're all alive, right? Or is it just me and oh, Bat? Wait. What? What? But my goal is to do literally anything I possibly can to defeat it. So the first thing I did was go into it with the gear I did tier 4 Kuja in. And it went about as well as you could expect. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Back alive. I'm back alive. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, no, 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 I'm not good. I'm not good. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Frank, I'm gonna die. No way, I'm good. Oh. Dang it. What? I'm dead. Okay, this is, is, is this leg just me? Basically, it didn't go well. And we kept on trying, but no matter what we did, we failed. And I needed to complete this Kucha because if I didn't, I could miss out on literally billions of coins of potential profit. And the only thing I could possibly do to make it better was to get the best armor for Kudra, Aurora armor. But unlike someone like Swavy, I don't have billions upon billions of coins to spend on this armor. Like seriously, dude, look at this guy's armor. His Aurora armor has mana pool mana region 10 on every single piece, which would run you nice two to three billion coins and his armor is completely maxed out in every other aspect except for the fact that it is an inferno but because i didn't have four freaking billion coins lying around to spend on this armor i went with the cheaper option where i just got pieces with mana region on them and after i bought them it was time to max the armor well you know the best of my abilities. First, I started off with buying recoms. Then I was about to buy full Legion 5 for my armor, but I was told not to because Wisdom 5 was actually better, which as someone who didn't want to spend the 75 min on Legion, I was pretty happy. Then came the perfect sapphires, the gemstones I needed to unlock the perfect sapphire slot, and the growth and protection six book. Then I added loving to the chest plate and put necrotic on both the boots and leggings. And if anyone is wondering, I'm not using an Aurora helmet, I'm using wither goggles, because like plus 50% ability damage is pretty freaking nice. You do you get a bit less HP with it, but I don't really see that being a problem. Then it was my favorite time, hot potato book time. Then I spent like 30 to 40 million coins getting my armor all the way up to burning tier. Oh yeah, 800 essence, it, it, it may get a little expensive. After that, I took a little break to give my order some time to fill. And once I got back on, I put the 100 million coins I spent on the gemstones into the armor set. Okay, wait, 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 what do I got? Oh, lit, all of it filled. I can go put the gemstones in. Boom, boom. Okay, all the slots unlocked and all the gemstones in. Actually, I think by now, the Aurora should give me more mana than my old storm set. Okay, my storm set holding nothing gives me 4,157 mana. And my Aurora gives me, ooh, 4,298 mana. Let's go. That's like actually a decent amount better. But really, it's significantly better better because I have mana region 5 on every single one of my pieces so I'm pretty sure that gives me like an extra 15% total mana regen. Finally I put mana vampire on my set and it was basically maxed and now I had to get my talisman in order. Basically what I did was I put my talisman on sighted for intelligence, put my stats tuning points into intelligence, put my enrichments on intelligence and I put my beacon to ability damage. Basically I was smart boy. I do want to try some mini bosses though because this should be like significantly better than before. Hello Mr. Blade Soul. Okay, never mind. You guys did not see that. Oh, perfect. I'm Blade Soul. I'm so happy to be trying to fight this for the first time in this lobby. Oh, no, don't die. Die before you kill me. Die before you kill me. Oh, I'm so close. That's what I thought. Then I came over to the Crimson Essence shop and bought some perks like the Head Start perk to start the boss with extra pelts and the Strong Arm perk to hook in chests faster. This may not make sense now, but it's going to be crazy useful later in the video. Now, I thought it was time to start doing bosses, but then I realized to do Inferno Kudra, you need Inferno Kudra keys. And luckily, the way you get these keys are pretty easy. Around the Crimson Isle, there are groups of mobs, and anytime you kill a mob on the Crimson Isle, is a chance to spawn a Vanquisher, which drops Nether Stars. You need these Nether Stars to buy the Inferno Kudra keys to open open the big chest in Kudra. But there was a strategy that I put into action when I needed to grind these stars. And this strategy was loot share, where six different people can drop items from one mob. So we made a party of six people and each person went to a different part of the Crimson Isles to spawn mob. And once someone spawned a Vanquisher, we would alert the party to its location and we would all hit it to get stars. But after like 10 hours of this, I had a bunch of stars and got enough keys to do like 50 Kudra runs. Now that I was ready, I entered my first tier five Kudra. It is kind of menacing, so you need to know exactly what you were doing and when you need to do it for your team to function. And my job was the stunner. Basically what I would do is when the boss starts off, me and two other people would fish up crates and bring them to the center, while the fourth player plays what is called crowd control, where they kill all the mobs that are spawned by Kudra. Once all the crates are placed, then we build the ballista by punching the piles of rubble until they form the ballista. But this is when it gets complicated. Once the ballista is built, I have to buy the human cannibal upgrade. Yes, it's a, it, it, it is exactly what it sounds like. Once I buy the human cannibal upgrade, I then load myself into the cannon and then shoot myself into Kuja. Once in Kuja, I'm faced with three big pink Kuja sacks. 
they literally sacks for us. That's what they are. <laughs> oh. And to stun Kujo, you have to destroy one of his sacks. So what I do is I mine the sack down to 5% HP left. Then I leave Kudra. Once my teammates have fueled out the ballista by fishing up fuel cells, I go back in and destroy the sack. Okay, um, three, two, one. Now, 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 now. Once I destroy the sack, my teammates have to shoot the ballista into Kudra and also put on their terror armor and shoot Kudra with their Terminator to do just, just, just a frick ton of damage. People can most of the time kill Kudra in one attempt, but for my party, we don't do enough damage, so we have to do it twice. So I go back into Kudra again, destroy the sack, they shoot the ballista again, and they damage him again. But while doing Kudra, there is a major event you have to watch out for drop ships. These guys will drop TNT on you that will literally one tap your entire team. So whenever we're about to get nuked by them, we stand in a corner and use the cells alignment ability on the gyrokinetic wand. I don't entirely know how it works, but it makes us take zero damage, so I'm not complaining. But after the second stun, we've done enough damage to kill Kudra. Oh wait, what the frick is that? In tier 5 Kuja, once you do a little over 3 fourths of the Kuja's health, you are entered into its final phase. In this phase, you have to constantly be lasering Kuja with your Terminator, while watching out for Kuja's balls. That will explode and one tap your entire team if you don't hit them off. And you also have to watch out for his tentacle attacks that will one tap your entire team as well. But once Kuja is dead, we get to unlock Kuja's chest. And from it, there are a couple things that we're looking for. One is armor with a god roll on it, which is a piece like the mana pool mana regen aurora piece I was talking about earlier, worth like 200 to 300 million coins. We are also looking for the enrager axe that is so ridiculously rare that since Kuja came out almost eight months ago, I'm pretty sure like two have been dropped on the entire server and like one was wiped. So it's more like one. But no matter what, every single Kuja one gives you profit because of the Crimson Essence, Teeth, and Books. And finally, what we are looking for is Kuja Cores, which are a new talisman dropped from Kuja. So I just said I was looking for Kuja Cores, and I, uh, I think I found one. And there we go. Okay, what did I get? Ha <laughs> ha! Let's go. <laughs> Look at that, chap. Burning Kuja Core plus 109 mil. I love Kuja. <laughs> But now with all of this knowledge, we hopped into our first run. No, oh, I got it, I got it. Oh, for, for, I'm dead. Stay alive, stay alive. Oh. <clears throat> then our second run. Oh, that, <laughs> this is going to be really hard to survive. Yeah, wait. Am I the only one left? <laughs> okay, MacMaku carry. Yet unfortunately, and to everyone's surprise, MacMaku did not carry. Oh, okay. Very cool. That was that was so close. <clears throat> then our third run. I, I mean, first run. Okay. Are you guys ready for our first attempt? Oh. Ah, uh, ha, 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 ha. You guys got this. Yeah, first try. First try, no way. And Breeze and Magic Fine. Let's go. GG's. G freaking G's. And I got a Skyblock level, so big W's. Eventually, our runs were getting kind of consistent, but I was still dying, and I realized something. There was no point of using my mage setup. Instead, I could just use tank armor and basically never die. So I just spent 400 million coins on an armor set that I can barely use for the purpose I bought it for. What? Me not no. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. But this was over a month ago, and the strats to do Kudra have changed like crazy, making Kudra run significantly faster. But the setup needed for it cost upwards of 2 billion coin. And I, uh, I, I may have bought it. So subscribe for that. Okay, bye gamers, subscribe.